Welcome to the ET335 op-amp DAC lab demonstration, part C. Okay, we're back to our multi-sim and our successful project, uh, part three. Now we're going to work on part four. So let's uh, disconnect our scope. And that looks good. So we're going to need another op-amp. So why don't we just copy and paste this. And we need a LM339, so let's go to analog. And we're going to need a LM, that's a transistor, analog. LM339. And we'll bring that down here. Good. And we're going to need a capacitor. So let's go back to our basic. And capacitor. And we're going to use a 0.01. more. There we go. Okay, and we need a 1K resistor, so let's go back to our basic resistor, 1K, and we need a diode, 4148. such thing. Okay, so we'll just use a regular 4002. This is a, it'll work. How about 4001? Okay. And we need a potentiometer. So let's go back to basics. And Variable resistor, no, potentiometer, yes, and it needs to be a 5K. And I need, a, uh, I need two 10K, so let's go back to a resistor. Looks pretty good, so I'm going to rearrange our components here and I'll be back. Okay, I've got the components roughly laid out, so let's go ahead and interconnect. So we're going to have a 10K into our second op amp. We're going to hook up our plus 12 and let's move our scope over a little bit. have our feedback resistor and our 12 volts plus okay and we're going to have our output of our RC here off of our comparator Copy a couple of grounds. And 
it. Okay, we're going to need one more ground. Copy and paste it here for our potentiometer. And let's flip this guy horizontal here so we can get our output close to our input. And we're going to hook our ground up to the inverting input. And our potentiometer is going to go into our non-inverting. Let's go ahead and flip this one vertically. And let's flip this one vertically. Hook up our 12s. up our ground, oops, and I need one more ground, okay, and we need a plus five, and I see no plus five, so let's go Back to our power sources, and I think we're going to use VDD because it looks like I think I use VCC. Okay, and we have one K diode, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and we're going to take our first channel and we're going to look at our spike. Second channel, we're going to look at our output of our op amp. And I forgot another ground for this uh, op amp. <coughs> bop, bop, bop. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back and I'll add some outputs here. So that looks good for now. Okay, before I test this, I need to fix a couple serious errors that I made on our comparator. So there is no ground. And we're going to take the pot and put it into the inverting. And I need to take a wire off of our output. So we're going to compare our stair step with our potentiometer okay let's try that now okay let's try this now so let's open up our oscilloscope turn them on and let's put them all at five for now and let's turn on our blue channel That's good, and let's turn on our magenta, and let's go ahead and put it at five. And let's fix, there we go, and let's fix that to five. Good. So let's spread it out a little bit, and we'll figure out what's going on here. Okay, looks like it's not going to allow me to completely do it. So let's go to single. And let's make magenta 2 and get him out of the way. Our stair step is good. And let's go ahead and lower our spike. Good. So let's really bring our, oops. Let's bring our magenta way down. All righty, so this is a good um, output. So we have our stair step coming out of our amp. Okay, this magenta here is our comparator switching back and forth. And when it switches, it's going to produce a spike. Okay, and this spike will be limited on the backside 
to a small one because of our diode. And that's looking good, so that's our output. Let's demonstrate a few other things. We notice this spike here and it's pointing up to that. That is our unknown voltage. So if I change my unknown voltage, I should be able to move my spike. So let's go ahead and run it again. And when I do that, you see my spike is changing. So if I do Shift A, that spike is moving. So where this spike is and crosses, that's where our comparator is matching the two. So the yellow here would be our unknown voltage, and this is our uh, DAC output, our analog output, and this one moves when we want to uh, change that input. Here what I've shown is the output of our BCD uh, 7490. So this is a BCD count and this is the typical, uh, typical waveform and so this is what we need for our troubleshooting and this is the correct output of our, our device. Okay, here I've connected our oscilloscope to the output of our BCD counter and our input into the op amp. This is a virtual ground here. All of our connections, the only thing you're going to see on this side is this little spiky thing. Uh, that is the virtual ground, so we're not going to see a reading on this arrow because of that phenomenon, the uh, virtual ground. So that is the correct look of our input into our op amp.